experimenting again. Here's some pumpkin puree that I dried on the food dehydrator on some baker paper so it wouldn't fall through. And I'm experimenting with putting it in this little spice dry, spice mixer, oh boy, spice <laughs> grinder that I've got. And I'm gonna see if I can make some nice powder that can then be used in recipes. So I'm putting that in there. What do you know, it all fits. This was a cup of the pureed pumpkin. And I spread it out nice and thin. It might have only been an eighth of a an eighth of an inch thick when I put it in there. Whoops, I just lost a piece. <laughs> That's all right. So there was about a cup. I'm gonna put the lid on and mix this up. I'll spare you the noise and I'll turn this off. Okay, so I blended it up, and if you'd like to come a little closer, this is the pumpkin powder. So this was one cup of pumpkin puree before I dried it, and that's all it makes. <laughs> it looks very insignificant. So what I'm gonna do, this is an eighth cup measure, which is the same as two tablespoons. I'm going to start with this just to kind of get an idea of how much it is. Eh, you know, I don't think it's going to fill a quarter cup. So I'm going to work with this for a minute till I get that pretty full and put it in that little glass bowl. And now, to get the rest out. When I'm done, hopefully I will have one cup of puree, which is what I started with. Although I did drop a few flakes on the floor. <laughs> that was a shame. And I might use it to make a half a batch of muffins or something. Pumpkin muffins. Anyway. Okay. So let me see if that will fill another eighth cup measure. I don't think so. I think that's a half an eighth cup. So I would call this three tablespoons. So on the back burner here, I have some very hot water, extremely hot water. And I'm going to put, I'm going to start with three tablespoons. Now, very interesting. Some people say, oh no, I should double it. I should double it. So that would be six. Six tablespoons. Some people say to double the hot water. One, two, three, four, five, six. And others say to add a lot more. So I don't know. We'll see if this one is correct. <laughs> so I'm going to mix this together. Whoa, it looks like puree to me already. You're supposed to mix it together and let it sit. This might be a little too thick, and if it is, I'll add more water in a little bit. Wow, that looks like nice puree. If you're making something like pumpkin pie, you want the puree to be drier. You don't want it to be wet and drippy because then when you put the eggs in and you cook it, it won't set well. So we'll come back in a little bit because you're supposed to let this sit for about 15, 20 minutes. All right, so I ended up putting three parts water to one part of the powder, the pumpkin powder. And I ended up with a half a cup of puree from what I started out with um, a whole cup of the pumpkin puree. So I don't know what that was about, except that this is really beautiful puree. It's nice and smooth and creamy, and it actually tastes good. I tasted it. <laughs> and so anyway, I'm gonna just going to keep it as it is. Now, if you would like to store the powder 
by itself and rehydrate it later, my favorite way to do it is with jars. And I take a jar, and I always a canning jar, I always put a canning lid on top. It does not have to be a new canning lid because we're not gonna can this, but a canning lid with the powder in there and then close the lid. Now, if you have a place that you're storing it where it's possibly not as dry, you can put one of these little white lids, plastic lids on top of that, and this will prevent the lid from rusting. Now, one little tip, when you do that, I like to save these little desiccant packs that are in uh, vitamin bottles, that kind of thing, and I throw that in there with the dried food that I'm doing. But for now, I'm just gonna put this away. <laughs> so I'm gonna put it in here as a puree, and I will make a tiny little batch of pumpkin muffins, possibly tomorrow out of this. And this is a wonderful thing to do. Now, one little note here, the reason I was testing this out, and I'm gonna cover this as it is, put this in the refrigerator. Over here, you remember the pink banana <laughs> squash. We have about five or six of these in the basement, and they are super good keepers. They'll probably keep half the winter, but I think I would like to powder some and have it ready to use for when I want to do a recipe. This is the reason why I'm experimenting today. So hope you had fun with that and try this. It's, it's fun. It's a good way to store something in a very tiny space that takes up a big space and is real heavy. It will not be heavy once this is dehydrated. So this is food all you never wanted to know. Please share, like, subscribe.